Yeah, hello everyone. Myself Maruti. Welcome you to Ram Maruti Tutorials. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss regarding uh, regarding few keywords which generally we apply in word problems and uh, of course in the real life scenario. Right. So let us come towards the few word problems. Of course, before that, let's discuss regarding the keywords. So to discuss regarding the keywords, the main thing what we have are nothing but the four concepts. The first one is addition. As you all know, that's the main one. Next one is nothing but subtraction. This is the uh, second topic. Of course, the third one is generally our favorite multiplication. Right. And the fourth one is nothing but division. These are the four uh, generally we come across. Right. So if you discuss about addition, general keywords which relate to addition, of course, the symbol as we know, it's nothing but plus and here it is minus. Here it is uh, multiplication and here it is nothing but division right so the keywords which we come across is in the first one under the addition the first keyword which we come across is plus right in the same way in the uh, subtraction we have the keyword called minus wherever you come across the word minus we have to remember that we are going to do subtraction and the sign we are going to use minus now if you go go for the other in the same way generally the other word what we see is nothing but more all right if you go with more obviously the pairing word is nothing but the less okay i'm dealing with few words which generally we come across right so for plus we go with minus more less in the same way if you go with the word after right so in the same way we go with the word before before means we come across the word minus in the same way the fourth very important word is nothing but increased right if you come across the word increase straight away please remember you have to use addition in the same way decreased right is the keyword for subtraction right if you go for this one increased and decreased you can see it as added for addition added is the general word for addition and take away is the general word for subtraction take away these are the words which you have to remember more plus minus more less after before increase decrease add and take away these are the general words which we come across now if you go for the multiplication you have to remember mainly right the word is product it's nothing but product product is the first word which we generally deal and it's nothing but times right times is the other word now if you say you come across the word double d-o-u-b-l-e-d -E you have to remember it's nothing but two times in the same way if you have remember if you come across the word triple right it's nothing but three times so that is what for multiplication the main words are nothing but we use the symbol cross or multiplication product times double and triple right now if you go for the division the main word which we come across is the ratio okay guys these are the basic general words which we come across while dealing with the word problems now let us apply this concept in the real life scenario with the help of word problems uh, hello everyone so we are coming for the application for the uh, keywords what we have just now learned so the keywords first as we all let us read out the question for you if we add 7 to twice a number we get 49 i repeat if we add twice a number to get we get 49 find the number right so we are able to see keywords add and the other keyword what you are able to see is twice you have to remember that one now so we are going to apply what we have learned so the first tricky part always see the question always see the question ending what he wants us to find he is asking us to find the value find the number so the one which he is asking always you take it as x right that matters a lot now let the number be let the number let the number be x that is the one what we are finding okay so as the number is x but what he's saying twice the number the twice the number is twice the number 
what does the twice the number becomes? Twice the number is nothing but 2 into bracket and you plug in that x in this bracket. That is 2x. Now, according to the problem, what he says, right? 7 is added. 7 is added to twice the number. Twice the number. He is saying that 7 should be added. So what we are doing according to the question. So let us come back to the keywords. Add means plus as you all know. And 2 times means 2 into bracket. That's what you have to remember. Now here in a tricky way as we read from the question. We have to take in the reverse order. Always write in the step in the reverse order. See how I am writing. 7 added to twice the number that's what we are going in the reverse direction so that we can form the equation easily 7 added to twice the number equals how much he says it's nothing but 49 now let us simplify so to simplify as you all know we have to isolate what is the meaning of isolating right isolate what is the meaning of isolating here? Keeping the x at one side and send, sending the remaining all to the other side. First, let us isolate the plus 7 there. So, 2x equals 49. Send plus 7 to the other side, transformed, and it becomes minus 7, which equals 42. Right? 2x. Now, what we want? We need x. What is along with the x? We are having 2. What it is doing? Multiplication. So, here x equals 42 the multiplication sent to the other side it becomes divide so if you simplify this one straight away two ones and two twenty ones so the number the number is 21 if we want we can verify that also verification so the verification clearly it says right what he says seven added to two times the number so what is the number we got? The number is x in the place of x. Let us plug in 21. So let us simplify that. 2 into 21, it's 42 plus 7. It's nothing but 49. It's verified. So this is how we are going to verify that one. Let's come back to the next question. So let's get back to the second question for the day here now. What he says, right? If we subtract right 22 from three times a number we get 68 find the number so if you check it out properly what are the keywords here subtract so for subtract we are having the symbol minus and the next one three times three times you have to remember three into bracket right if it is two times two into bracket if it is three times three into bracket that's the keywords we have to remember. Now, again, find the number. So, as we know, whichever number we have to find, let us consider this one as x. So, let the number, let the number be x. Let the number be x. Now, thrice, three times the number, three times the number, three times the number. What does three times the number becomes? Just now I said it's nothing but 3 into bracket and we have to plug in this x inside there. So it becomes 3x. Now what he says according to the problem, according to the question, according to the question, what he says 3 subtract right 22 from 3 times the number, 3 times the number we get what he says we get 68 this is given so what he has given to us in the question so as i said you the trick always write the sentence in the reverse direction now set the symbols in reverse direction uh -huh. now what we say subtract 22 from three times the number what is three times first let us write three times the number three times the number subtract what right 22 three times subtract 22 from three times the number we have removed 22 from three times the number equals 68 this is the given question now what we are supposed to find we need to find the value of x now transform minus 22 to the other side so 3x equals 68 plus 22 now if you simplify 
3x equals 80 and 90 right now what we want we need x what is there along with that one three what it is doing multiplication if it is transformed it becomes divide x equals 30 by 3 and if you simplify once and 30 therefore x equals the required number equals 30 now let us verify what is verification here let us verify what he says what he says 22 take away from three times the number right what is the number we got 30 so equals 90 minus 22 we got it as 68 so this is the verification for that okay let's get back to the next question now so what does the question says right find the number when multiplied by 7 and then reduced by 3 equals 53 here read the check out the keywords now what are the keywords which we can say multiplied which means product right and reduce do you know what the meaning of reduce here minus equals is the other word what we can see here equals means is equal to these are the keywords what we have seen now find the number we don't know the number as we don't know the number the variable is x that's what let the number be let the number be x that is the first one we have taken now so write what it says find them when multiplied by 7 and then reduce to 3 so multiply to 7 multiplied by 7 right what does it become it becomes 7 times this and we plug in this x here and it becomes 7x what he says now right what he says after that what should be subtracted 3 is reduced from 7 times right 3 reduced from 7 times 7 times the number right so let us take in the reverse direction this is nothing but given so as I said to you now let us take in the reverse direction 3 yes reduce i'm going if you check it out i'm going in the reverse direction question is in this direction we set the symbol in terms of reverse direction three reduced means minus three reduced from seven times the number equals what he said it equals 53 this is the setting of the linear equation now we need to isolate 7x is equal to 53 this minus 3 transform to the other side it becomes plus 3 now 7x equals 56 now what we want we need x who is there along with the x 7 what it is doing times if it is goes to the other side divides x equals 56 by 7 if you simplify that 7 1 7 8 so the number is 8 if you want let's verify right what he says what he says seven times the number right reduced by three what is the number we got eight seven eight fifty six minus three equals fifty three that's verified so this is how the keywords what we are learning in day-to-day -day life will be applied hope you are able to understand thank you in this channel i have been placing both math and science videos